Hello and welcome to the Aid Station. I'm Chris Robb and delighted today to be heading to Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Delighted to be joined by Chi Nguyen, who's the Managing Director of Havas Media. Welcome, Chi. So great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Chris. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Chi from Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, yeah, I, I work for uh, Havas Media Vietnam. Um, and this is my second company uh, before I used to work for Unilever Vietnam. So, you know, all, all European companies. And yeah, I am in charge of uh, uh, mobile and uh, digital and mobile division here, uh, leading a group of super young kids, uh, just half of my age and, <laughs> yeah, you know, all passionate, energetic. So, uh, yeah, that's my work. Um, my, I'm, I'm happy to, to survive after the lockdown. And, uh, as you can see from the news, Vietnam is control, uh, it's controlling well. Uh, we get back to work, uh, the kids get back to school and, um, yeah, we try to take back the pace that we had before. And since I'm a runner, so for me now, it's about coming back to my, uh, to pace four. <laughs> And then, you know, moving to my uh, uh, ambitious pace, that's uh, pace three. So, yeah, in short, everything is good. Fantastic. And uh, You've just come out of lockdown last week, haven't you? So how, how long were you in lockdown for? Uh, uh, officially in Ho Chi Minh City, it started the 1st of April until the second, uh, 22nd of April. So 21st, 21 days. Okay, Hanoi so was one month since uh, we get more uh, more cases in Hanoi, but uh, in Ho Chi Minh City, it's just only three weeks. And okay. you know, depends on companies. We can um, we can decide whether to well, you know take turn at some critical positions. We need to be at work. So yeah, that's um, that's uh, the happening here. Yeah. So when we get back, I remember it was um, a week ago on our liberation day, you know, that's uh, uh, April 30th. So I get back to, um, to our training place. It's in District 2 mm -hmm. at the finish line of Taken Bang Marathon. And everyone was so fresh. Everything was just like, you know, after the rain. And, and we really had a very meaningful tempo running in the morning, uh -huh. uh, five in the morning. Um, and uh, that's, that's a very good coming back. Yeah. So it's, of, uh, uh, running is air, part of, the, the air was really fresh because of the, the lockdown less. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the area got a lot of trees since that the new, you know, uh, urban area. So, so we have fresh air and it's kind of hot since Ho Chi Minh City is coming to summer. Uh, mm -hmm. actually rainy season we have just only two seasons here sunny and rainy sunny and this and rainy. is the, yeah this is the peak time of uh, of uh, rainy season i like like this morning humidity it's a hundred percent wow yeah and, what sort and, of temperature? and it's about uh, 29 around that yeah right. and and well it's just only five in the morning already 29, 29 yeah <laughs> so, and you told you told me before we started uh recording that you grew up in the mountains so i guess this is a, a bit different from you when you were up in the mountains much cooler up there yeah definitely um so i was born in dalat dalat is uh, central highland so it is in the central of vietnam and about uh, 1000 meters to the sea level so mm -hmm. much cooler about 18 to 22 but uh, well to be honest with you i love the heat since uh, -huh. uh that's the advantage of my running yeah i survived new york marathon last year and i i have to say that i hate it i don't like the cold <laughs> i don't like it at all <laughs> it's better for me to to run uh under the the bright uh, sun and and even super hot i'm okay mm -hmm. yeah so yeah this morning we were so happy that you know even it was so hot and so humid but everyone finished the um the exercise um i have a running team uh you know all sprinters 
Mm -hmm. Well, they're marathoners, but just but fast. fast marathoners like you. You're a fast yeah. marathoner. You were telling me you started off as a trail runner, and you're now on your way to to your target of being a a, um, a world marathon major six star runner. So you've done three of the majors already, and uh, you're yeah. getting ready for for London right now. That's right. Yeah, that's true. I I got three. Uh, I got accepted by another three. So my next target it's a London marathon. So uh, that will be in October because it was delayed. And, and then Chicago, just a week after that. But yeah. that's why, you know, for Chicago, it's going to be a fun run for me, a recover mm -hmm. run. So it's a back-to-back. -back. So I never try it. It's also a good experience. And next year, I'll come back to Tokyo since uh, Tokyo was delayed this year, was canceled this year. So when, so when did you run your first World Marathon Major? So if, if you get to being a six-star next year at Tokyo, how long would that have taken you? So, uh, three years, should be two years, but now it's three since, uh, because of pandemic. Yeah. I started my first major last year in April in, uh, in Boston. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my first, my first major is Boston and, uh, and my result is, uh, three zero nine. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. what, what a story you were telling me, you kind of almost got into the, the road running side of it by accident. I mean, you're more of a trail runner. You're, you're, yeah. you, 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 I mean, you're sharing the industry there. Nine years ago, I think you were saying, was, was your first big uh, event that you participated in. And in those days, there were very few events around. And, and tell us about the industry now in, 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 in Vietnam. It's huge, isn't it? Growing. Oh yeah, it's a very uh, interesting question. And it's actually my, uh, my, my, um, my experience seeing how the market grows here. I think everything started uh, after the Iron Man. Uh -huh. Before that, we, we had some small marathon with about uh, 5,000, no less than that, 3,000 runners. Uh -huh. That can be said, huge events. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's in District 7 in Fumi Hong, also a new urban area. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you know, uh, and, and, and they, they, they first, I think for, for, for sport and, and entertainment, I, I call it in, in um, you know, in the, in the context of uh, a whole industry. So we started in Vietnam early 2012, early 2011, with, you know, running, combining, uh, music. So mm -hmm. we have Prisma run, we have Kalami run. So everyone starts to know about, well, you know, whether charity or whether fun. So yeah. 5K only. Yeah, three, from 3 to 5K, attracting about, well, you know, maximum 2,000 people. And it's not professional at all. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you, can, you, you will not see any professional. No elite, nothing. Mm -hmm. Just fun run. So whether, you know, it's Terry Fox uh, or, you know, Terry Fox, it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, initiated by when well, you know. I think the uh, I'm UK, from Canada originally, big uh, yeah. Yeah, big but global, then hosted here by by some uh, commerce chambers. I don't uh -huh. remember uh, which nationality, but anyway. Yeah. So that's Terry Fox, and people know about running, and uh, and then Kalami Run. It's you know running with the Carter and singing, yeah. and you can have concert after that. And Prisma Run is running with you know VV shows like. Was that uh, lasers and then you know ended all ended with music yeah. until where well, you know Iron Man came to Vietnam mm -hmm. and part of it it's a it's kind of niche but you know uh, Sapa Mountain Marathon but yeah. it's just in in the north and well you know for for the trail for the trail race it's not easy for you to to you know to have well ten thousand or more than five thousand runners. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of niche because it does not have, well, you know, the, 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 the chemistry of the city. Mm -hmm. So at the, I think, yeah, uh, Sapa Mountain Marathon came earlier and uh, not to focus on, well, you know, entertainment and running, but also into, well, you know, professionalism. Mm -hmm. They invited, you know, some trail elites from the world, but still, because it's in the North, it takes a lot of time for, for me from a Jimmy City to fly over there. Yeah. That's why, you know, kind of limited in terms of uh, reach. 
But until but you, you had know, an amazing I'm experience man. there. I mean, you were <laughs> telling me that you, you were the first Vietnamese woman. You finished behind two Kenyans, and um, you know it was, that was a massive achievement. So you, you've obviously you, you've got running in your genes. You've got an amazing ability to be accepted to all these world marathon majors, and you're you're being a bit of a trailblazer in terms of you know grow, growing the running movement in Vietnam. I yeah I I think I have advantage in in yeah. my in my blood <laughs> in my gene. <laughs> Part of it I was born in you know in a mountain. In the mountain. And yeah. Yeah, and well before that 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 Bihai uh, that that combined marathon for the Sapa Mountain Marathon the first um, my my first 100k, I was the runner up. I was just behind one French lady, uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, and uh, I think I'm the second one Vietnamese. The first one is the guy, and he's wow. also famous in 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 the community. But That's anyway, yeah, so, so I'd love to, if if I can, to move on to you know you're 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 now being training um, for London, which has been postponed, and you've had the lockdown on. How how's that been in terms of a challenge? I mean, your lockdown wasn't huge; it was only kind of like the three weeks. But has it interrupted your training? Has it been a real challenge to keep motivated and going? Or it seems like you're pretty motivated anyway. Well, if you ask me, uh, it's not a challenge for me, actually, yeah. since uh, running is all about uh, yourself, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just feel a little bit uh, worried whenever I have to do interval mm -hmm. by myself, since yeah. normally, you know, you need a pacer. So I, I have my running partner and he's about, well, he's much he's faster than me and some other guys to take turns to support me for intervals. So for intervals that a little bit worried, but mm -hmm. not a big one since just only three, three weeks. So I had just only three intervals yeah. and thanks God I survived. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so for me, it's not a big challenge. For others that can be a little bit since, yeah. you know, um, well, you know, for sports or, or, or training or fitness, uh, you need motivation from others, from your teams. Mm -hmm. But we have online, and since now I come back to sport industry, uh, after the Iron Man, you see that you know organizers came to Vietnam, a brand like Iron Man came to Vietnam. So it uh, that's why you know many other brands followed, like Garmin, Adidas, mm -hmm. uh, Nike. So all sport brands. So you know during three weeks lockdown, all of them created activities online. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with technology, we can do it at home and then, you know, we, we, we share our results and challenge. So Vietnamese love challenge, I tell yeah. you. Yeah. And challenge and, and very, your friends. And, and a very, um, you know, tech savvy uh, um, population that are very much into. That's right. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. like I, I, I initiated, you know, bringing my pets. I have two puppies uh -huh. and it created a trend among among you know my my running community so okay. they 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 <laughs> they bring all kind of pets you know from cats to dogs and it has a lot of engagement on social media on facebook yeah. so yeah so in short uh, during lockdown three weeks uh, we are still active and i think yeah. it's a good point and we are more creative by you know having diversified activities indoor and brands yeah. leverage that uh, that uh, well, you know, uh, that, that, that time to, to have some activities. So yeah. that's good. Well, wonderful story. I'd, I'd love to, I mean, you're, you're the leader of a business. You said you've got lots of young teams. There's, there's amazing leadership happening in, in, in many countries and many industries at the moment. What, 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 what leadership lessons have you taken out of this period of adversity that maybe you've shared with your team or, or a leader that's helped you to lead? Um, and, and any leadership lesson that you'd like to share or, or, or leadership um, uh, techniques that you use? <laughs> I should have no technique uh, for leadership when it comes to me. I, I have just a short uh, formulation, which is A-R-E, uh, R, A-R-E. So I authentic read. city, resilience and empathy. So, nice. but during the lockdown, actually one of the actions that I proposed and I was lucky to get accepted by my CEO, it's promoting my staff. Uh -huh. He's a superstar yeah. in 2019. And you know, as uh, uh, normally we will have to wait a little bit for the second half, well, mm -hmm. you know, to, to really, well, you know, uh, promote or 
incentivize our stock since the first half is all about hibernating or surviving, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But that I think is the right time to retain key talents. So I yeah. propose promotion. Yeah. And it's the only promotion in a company that mm -hmm. get accepted. And uh, I told a guy, he's very young, 1995, it's just the action of paying forward. In return, mm. I accept to take uh, bigger KPIs in mm. second half. But uh, I think it's worth doing so since um, I'm, I'm an ultra runner. <laughs> so I believe yeah. in, you know, well, givers will, will win in long run. Yeah. So yeah. that's, uh, it's not a philosophy, it's just my, my, my thinking. And uh, not just only at work, but at life. Um, yeah. I'm a giver. Fantastic. So, and I love yeah. paying forward. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's a wonderful thing to end on. I mean, I, I think very, very inspiring giving paying forward. This is, this is a time where you see so much wonderful giving happening. And, uh, I have no doubt that, uh, those that give now the pay forward, uh, yeah, will come back to them. And that's not necessarily the reason that you need to give you give because you want to give, isn't it? And, and naturally somehow it seems to flow back. That's right. And yeah. it resonates during yeah. that time. But yeah. uh, since it's in your DNA, it can come at any time. Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. Chi, it's been wonderful chatting and uh, I really want to wish you all the best in your, in your quest to get your six stars and uh, enjoy I'll your run you know. in London. <laughs> and uh, we we'll look forward to following your big star continuing to rise. Thank you so much I'll for your time. I'll show you. I'll <laughs> show you that medal. Okay, wonderful. thank you, Chris. Have a good you. day. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. You. <laughs>